Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Today in this video, I'm going to show you that how we can do vector data analysis by importing point, line and polygon data. Before applying it on software, let's us discuss what is vector data. So, in GIS, the geographical features are represented by two types of data. One is spatial data and the other is non-spatial data or attribute table. I have already explained you in the previous videos as well that spatial data is any uh, constructed or uh, not man-made or it can be any natural features on the uh, on the globe or on the map like uh, like a place or location or street and the attribute data or the non-spatial data can be in form of street names or in tabular form like in form of tables that we have studied in the previous videos. So the spatial data have two types. Uh, one is vector data and the other is raster data. And I'm going to discuss the raster data as well in the next video, coming videos. But here we will only discuss the vector data in more detail. So Vector data is composed of discrete features and these features are represented as points, lines or arcs or polygons. So what these points and lines and polygons basically represent on map is that a point can represent any uh, place or a house or a hotel or, or, or a feature that is too small to be displayed as a line or area. So and the line can display uh, any like road or river line uh, such that is very narrow it can represent any geographical feature that is too narrow to have an area similarly the polygon does not represent any uh, small feature or a river line or any narrow narrow line but it represents a set or uh, area it represents some area so in the next slide you can see um, it's an example of these vector data features on you can see uh, over here point that it's this point is showing some fire hydrant and this line is showing some path for the river path and this polygon this enclosed boundary is showing some lake so basically this is this is what this is vector data let us apply the vector data in this ArcGIS I have already imported my layers and I'm now going to import some other layer from add data. Let's say I want to import this SHP file. And this is imported over here. I can zoom over it simply by selecting on the zoom in icon. So this data is what this data is vector data some set of lines some you can see over here some polygon let's import some points as well i am going to click on this and now i have imported some points so this these points are showing some information and i am going to also import some lines so vector lines has been imported over here and let's import some polygon as well polygon shp file and click on ok and polygon has been also imported so over here you can see what we have imported we have imported vector data over here polygon can show you some enclosed boundary like uh, it can show you the area of that place point is showing some small feature and lines can show you some uh, road network or lake or river network now let's import some raster image on it and see what happens so i have already this raster image with me uh, you can import any raster image of your own from Google Earth. I'm also going to show you that how we can create raster image file in the next videos. So I have this high resolution image and you can see the format of this uh, uh, file is different from what we have imported before. We in vector uh, files, we have SHP file mostly the format of the vector file is mostly SHP. There are other formats as well. But you can see in for the raster image, it's TIF, the TIFF file 
transform it and I'm going to add over here. Okay, so you can see that raster layer is below. We have to scroll it up. I'm just going to drag it up over here. And yes, our raster image is now showing. I can simply zoom over here and see that you can also see. Oh, uh, let's just zoom layer. Yeah. You can see over here that the vector data file and the raster data file are now connected. These lines are passing through the raster image as well. It's the same location. It's the it's this it's the picture of the same location over here. And you can see the vector lines are passing through it and some road network is showing over here on the R raster file. And this is also some road network from the lines you can see over here the points are showing some house or hotel so this is how you can do vector data analysis by importing the vector data features and at the end you can also import some high resolution raster image of that particular place and you can see that different vector features on that image so that's it and thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos